Welcome to my homework rewards. Today we're going to do an interesting question. This question asks us to find the unit vectors that are parallel to a tangent line of the parabola y equals x squared at a specific point uh, to 4. This is question 12.2-41 from Calculus Early Transcendentials, 7th edition by Stewart. As always, you can download the full solution at myhomeworkrewards.com for free. So our game plan to solve this problem is first we're going to figure out what the slope of the tangent is uh, to the curve y equals x squared at the point x equals 2. And then next we'll use that slope to figure out what sort of vector we need to be parallel to it. And then we'll find the unit vector uh, of those vectors. So first let's solve for the, for the slope of the line, of the tangent line, uh, tangent at x equals 2. So recall that we can find the slope by finding the derivative dy by dx and the derivative for y equals x squared is 2x. You bring the 2 down and you subtract 1 from the exponent on x. And now at the specific point at x equals 2 we just plug in 2 and get an answer of 4. So what that means, um, and it's illustrated over here for you, is that the tangent line has a slope of 4 at the point x equals 2. So remember what this means. Slope represents the rise over the run. So for a run of 1 and a rise of 4, we get that slope. So you got the slope over there, the rise, and the run. So what this really means is that the rise over run is 4 over 1. And using that information, that actually tells us the vector. This vector would have to have a, would have to move in the direction of 1 in the x direction and 4 in the y. So let's write that out. Our vector has to equal 1 has to move 1 in the x direction and 4 in the y direction. Now this question actually asks for the vectors with an s, multiple vectors. So what could happen here is that you could have a vector that's going in this direction or also in the other direction and it'll still be parallel. So what that means is that if the positive version was a moved 1 in the x, positive 1 in the x, and positive 4 in the y, then the negative version would move negative 4 in the y, and then negative 4, 1 in the x. So to represent that, we can just throw a plus or minus in front of here. So now that we have the vector, we want to find the unit vector, v hat, which is equal to the vector divided by its magnitude. Pause the video here and try to solve for this unit vector. Our vector up here is a plus or minus 1, 4. And then divided by the magnitude, which is just 1 squared plus 4 squared, which equals plus or minus 1, 4, keep the same notation with these brackets, divided by the square root of 17. And that's it. So what we've done is we calculated the slope to the parabola y equals x squared at the point equals 2. And we use that information to create a vector, which basically had a rise and a run that was equivalent to the slope. We noted that we could also have a positive or negative version. And either or would run parallel to that tangent line. Lastly, we found the unit vector by dividing by the magnitude. Hope this tutorial was useful. Remember that you can go on to myhomeworkawards.com to read on other lessons, watch video tutorials just like this one, solving specific questions, and you can also practice questions using our adaptive learning system, 
If you get questions wrong, you're given hints and you're also given recommendations for lessons to review. And if you do really well, the questions will get harder and harder. This sort of tailored learning helps you reach your goals faster. Recall that you can also earn rewards to top brands such as Adidas, Bench, Ardeen, Foot Locker, just by completing questions. All of this is for free. Thanks, have a good day.